Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Today we will be doing some swatches. So in the past I've done a video for a website called Influencer where you go on there, you review products, you take surveys that they send you, and based off of the information that you put on their site, they occasionally will send you free stuff to test. And I've done that in the past, I got a free box of stuff. Those are called Vox boxes. So there's two different kinds of Vox boxes. The Vox boxes where they actually send you free stuff, and then there's called virtual Vox boxes where they just say, go get a sample of this, take a picture of this. Um, things that don't actually require you to use or buy the item. So I actually got these items because I was in a virtual bo box, 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 box. That gets hard to say after a while. But I was so intrigued by the concept of these lipsticks that I really wanted to get a few and try them. So I did buy these with my own money. But these are the new Maybelline Metallic matte lipstick so I, I got three of them I just thought that the concept of that was really interesting because typically metallic and matte are two separate things so I'm very curious to see how this translates so I'll do what I did for my last lip swatch video I'll show you guys some swatches on the arm and then I will swatch them for you on my lips and give you my final thoughts and opinion at the end so I got three different shades. Um, I got two shades that I actually felt that I would wear, and then I got one shade that I didn't think I would normally wear, but I thought was still cool, maybe we'll use for a special occasion. So the two that I got that I feel would be the most wearable for me, or that are colors I typically go towards, are Copper Rose and White Gold. And then the one that I got that I don't normally go towards, I got Gunmetal which I think is like kind of like your typical navy bluish type of shade. So let me apologize as always, my swatching skills are terrible. But um, on the top, we have gunmetal, the middle we have copper rose, and then the bottom we have white gold. I think that's what it's called. Yes. So when I swatched them, uh, gunmetal was pretty much like what I thought it would be. Um, Copper Rose actually, when I swatched it just one time, definitely had more of a matte finish, but then when I kept going over it, I noticed more metallic. Um, the, or the white gold, I definitely noticed the shininess and the metallicness of it. Uh, right away when I swatched it. It kind of almost looked like a highlighter. It's a very, very light shade. So, I'm so bad at this. Why would I go like diagonal? Looking at them close up, I can see a little bit of both the matte and the metallic. I think I see it more though in the copper rose than anything. So let's swatch them on the lips and see how they look that way. order from first to last. Uh, where is it? Here is white gold. 
I view this more as a topper. It was very sheer and that's after putting several layers on. So this is definitely more of a topper. I thought it was pretty, but it did not provide any full coverage to my lips whatsoever. And it was okay. I think I'm gonna try it as a topper and see how I like it. Also note that I did not put any of them back on my lips. Um, I wasn't super crazy about these guys. I don't know. I just wasn't tempted. Normally when I do a video like this, I will put whichever one was my favorite on at the end and wear that throughout the day. But to be honest, I wasn't super tempted to wear any of these today. Um, I thought that I was gonna like the Copper Rose the best, and I think I did color-wise, but it just didn't do it for me. I feel like with all of these, I had to put on several layers in order to get any type of coverage. And I really just like whenever you just do one swipe and you're done. Sometimes a couple of layers is fine, but normally when you're applying so many layers, mistakes are bound to happen and things get a little bit messier than what they would be if you're just getting coverage from one or two swipes. I definitely thought Gunmetal was the coolest, but again, as with the first two, they're just, you have to put on so many layers. And I don't know if you could tell when I had the time lapse on of me putting it on, but there were certain spots that I would run it over my lips, specifically down in this area, and it didn't pick up on my lips at all. I had to go over and over and over again. And I didn't really like that, but I did feel that this was like the coolest shade out of all of them. I thought it had the nicest color when it was all said and done. So I don't know if I'm gonna like run to use these all the time. I think that this, the gunmetal, would be good for maybe like a Halloween costume or if you like darker black, blue, navy lipsticks. I don't typically wear those. <laughs> my dog is barking at my ring light right now. It's just a ring light. It's not gonna do anything to you. No, it's okay. So my top suggestion, if you want to use these, because once all is said and done, the color is nice. Um, definitely use a lip liner, as you should always, but I know a lot of us are guilty of not using them. Um, a lip liner is definitely going to help keep it cleaner, being that you do have to apply so many layers. And really guys, I think that these are okay. Uh, I'm not gonna use them that often probably, and that's just my honest opinion of them, but I don't think they're the worst product in the world, but I also wouldn't recommend them. Does that make any sense at all? So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. You can follow me on my social media channels. I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And as always, that information is posted in the description box below. Like this video if you liked it. If you like me, you wanna see more of my videos, which how sweet of you, I really appreciate that. Um, you can hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to my channel, and you can see all my videos that you want, I guess. <laughs> So thank you guys again for watching. As always, I greatly appreciate it, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.